Flash and anime have in common? Is it the powers? Yes. But there's another thing that they all have and most fans look forward to, and that's the rage moments. Those moments where the characters lose all their patience and just snap and unleash the beast within them. These scenes run deep in anime, and here from Kaneki going insane to Ichigo releasing his inner hollow, I present to you the top 20 best rage moments of all time. Starting with Blade of the Guardians. Yeah! Daoma is one of the three major characters in Blade of the Guardians, and with his skills in using swords, he's a formidable opponent through and through. Laying eyes on the severed head of his companion, Lao Mo, Dao Ma could no longer hold himself back and was intoxicated with rage. Drawing his sword, Dalmar was ready to bathe in the blood of his enemies. With no mercy at all, he portrayed his spirit as a warrior and as a loyal friend ready to defend those important to him without batting an eyelid. What made this moment worthy of the first one on our list was the animation. The choreography was clean and I even felt like I was angry for a moment seeing just how well executed it really was. Next up we have Black Clover, Asta vs Ladros. Now this was the scene that made us appreciate just how strong of an individual Arstar really is and the first time we've seen him go all out with his anti-magic and demon powers. Ladros was confident and even attempted to absorb Arstar's anti-magic sword. When all seemed lost, in one of the most epic moments of Black Clover, Arstar entered his anti-magic demon form and then we all knew where their entire budget was thrown to. The animation quality was totally different from the beginning parts of the series. The way Arstar transformed, the way he blitzed Ladros at the end, especially the impact frames when Arstar emerged from the flames was just epic. Although we did want Arstar to end Ladros, which he didn't, it meant the ending of that moment still kept the Black Clover charm. This was one of the few rage moments we'll ever get to see in Black Clover, and it's safe to say it didn't disappoint. <laughs> With another demonic transformation in the list, we have Seraph of the End, Yu turns into a demon. After seeing all his friends, including Shinoa, suffer at the hands of his enemies, Yu couldn't hold back his emotions and started screaming his lungs out. Now this is what we expected to happen to Asta, where the MC just loses control and gives in to his primal anger and rage. Yu was reborn into a monster, and even if Mika was there, he just straight up destroyed everything in his path with one simple move. His rage caused him to transform in a horrific and immensely painful way, which made the scene even more amazing. This was a true rage moment, where even if it didn't have a million dollar budget animation, the impact was just as effective. The black ooze and his one giant wing were perfect in terms of character design. Not only that, this was a foreshadowing of what was about to come and the bigger horrors that awaited the characters. Next on the list we have Daily Life of the Immortal King. Wang Ling shows his true power. Being a selfless and understanding person, Wang Ling never wanted any enemies, but alas, being the reincarnation of the immortal emperor isn't easy. After seeing Sun Rong's soul perish in the hand of Xiang, Wang Ling snapped. The first reaction of Wang Ling was shock, then despair and then the rage. For the first time in so long, Wang Ling was swallowed with rage that even though Froggy 2 stopped time to prevent his rampage, Wang Ling broke through his spell just to get back at Sun Rong's murderer. One thing you shouldn't do in a cultivation anime is to enrage the overpowered MC. We also got to see the true power of gender equality. The fight was one-sided and he wouldn't even stop if it wasn't for a vision he had with Sun Rong. What made this rage moment so good was that it showed Wang Ling still had his humanity deep inside of him, including his ability to feel anger. He was so angry that even when literal space froze, it still couldn't stop him. The fight scene itself was worth the watch with the beautiful effects of their attacks being the highlight. This goes to show that people should stop sleeping on Chinese anime and just give it a go. <laughs> Moving up on the list is Demon Slayer. Now you wouldn't expect Danjiro to have a rage moment because of his nature of being a good person, but when he does, he goes all out 
and make sure that any demon he comes across is turned into dust, which is exactly what happened to Gyotaro. After one of the best animated fight scenes in the entire history of anime takes place, Danjiro gets his chance to finally cut off Gyotaro's head while Zenitsu and Inosuke take care of Daki in sync. This was a pure rage moment defined by strength and sheer will. Even though Danjiro took a sickle to the mouth, he still charged in, which has got to hurt. The way Danjiro's eyes turned white, the manifestation of his Demon Slayer mark, and his hair resembling a blazing flame was breathtaking to watch. Viewers got goosebumps as the slicing sound effects at the very end made it all so satisfying. This was the beginning of Danjiro's growth as a sun breather and how he would become the foundation of the Demon Slayer's corpse survival. With another brutal showdown in our top 20, we have Tokyo Ghoul, Ken Kanaki vs Jason. The fight in Tokyo Ghoul between Ken Kaneki and Jason is a significant and brutal showdown that occurs during the series. It's a pivotal point in Kaneki's metamorphosis and progress as a character. The mood is tense with an overpowering sense of hopelessness. Prior to their fight, Kaneki endures weeks of horrendous torture from Jason to the point that Kaneki's hair turns white. After accepting his inner ghoul, Kaneki goes into rage mode and he might have fought Jason broken and bent but he proved that he was just as terrifying as the strongest ghouls there are. Fans love seeing Jason take a beating, and on top of it all, Kaneki made Jason count backward and even ate him at the end, which goes to show how twisted Kaneki suddenly became. From a shy human boy to a merciless half ghoul, Kaneki was smiling throughout the entire beatdown. It was one of the best scenes in Tokyo Ghoul, and by far a legendary moment in all of anime. Speaking of legendary moments, next up is Fairy Tale, where Natsu transforms into END. As Natsu discovers his true identity and relationship with END, he experiences a surge of betrayal, rage and determination. Natsu's visual transition into END is breathtaking. His appearance changes dramatically with scales, horns and demonic features all enveloped in an eerie glow. This build-up creates a lot of excitement and sets the stage for a spectacular transition. The way the visuals contrasted also emphasized how deep Natsu's emotions were. I personally loved seeing Natsu's wrath as at first, Fairy Tail was like Black Clover where almost no one got killed. Even though Fairy Tail isn't the strongest when it comes to storytelling and animation, the build-up, the transition, the emotions, and Natsu's character development were all perfectly harmonious. It gave fans one lasting fiery impression. With iconic show after iconic show, we have another one from One Piece when Luffy punched a celestial dragon. We all know who Straw Hat Luffy is, and we all know he delivered one of the most satisfying punches in all of anime. As St. Talos celebrated his actions, the captain of the Straw Hats could no longer contain himself. The punch was thrown so hard that Luffy momentarily sent St. Talos back into the manga panel before crashing into the seats behind him. Even though the scene was a bit funny, it still showed Luffy's convictions. Throughout the series, we've seen Luffy's undying dedication to his companions and how sometimes he doesn't realize some important issues going on in the world, or maybe he just stay silent, but his silent rage and his I don't care what happens next attitude made him look so badass at this moment. The moment may not have had crazy animational choreography, but we actually got to see Luffy go into full rage mode after some time. While others reacted like it was the end of the world, for the Straw Hats, it was just another day with Luffy. Next up is probably a show you haven't heard of or have watched, it's Tsukimichi, Makoto Snaps Against Shion. After seeing the memories of Shion through a mist gate, Makoto learns what had truly happened to his friends. The tragedy and death of his friends were no accident but planned. Realizing what had happened, Makoto tracks down Shion to enact his revenge. It's not every day you see an innocent character snap. But man, Makoto really created a vibe of his own. I thought the show was just a happy slice of life fantasy anime, but it proved me wrong with this scene alone. If you thought Danjiro was nice, then Makoto was an angel. So that's why it's so surprising that when he's consumed with rage, even he could do what Asta couldn't. 
As he listened to her scream, he casually walked up to her and mercilessly stabbed her in the throat. During this time, Makoto had no intention of regretting his choice after killing Shion. Without an ounce of hesitation, Makoto just contemplated the feeling of having to kill someone. The moment was just scary, as all it took was one clean strike and everything had ended. Moving on from Makoto's brutal murder, we have Hajime no Ippo, Takamura vs Hawk. Due to Hawks' brash personality, his pre-fight trash talk and slapping Takamura's coach right in front of him, Takamura was dumbfounded and enraged. During their fight, as Takamura was losing consciousness, he snaps, remembering it was his opponent's fault that his coach bled during the press conference. This was the moment where even if he was about to go unconscious, sheer will and anger kept his body going. The animation was insane and everyone expected Takamura to have a comeback, but not as beastly as this one. This moment was an exciting and emotionally packed encounter that demonstrated the physical and mental demands of professional boxing, as well as the dedication of the people involved. Even when he was pushed back to a corner, Takamura became a monster and beat Hawk at the end. Entering our top 10 in this list is Jujutsu Kaisen when Yuji decided to kill Mahito. <laughs> Much like the others, this is one of those rare moments when the particularly bright MC just enters rage mode, decides to stop playing, and releases all of their bloodlust. Because Mahito was so twisted, like a menace, he disrespected Yuji so much by turning Jinpei into a transfiguration in front of him. Worst of all, when Yuji asked Sukuna to help him, the King of Curses just laughed with Mahito. Because of this, Yuji just broke down and he uttered the coldest I'll kill you line in the series. The animation to visualize Yuji's rage was insane. You could feel the tension he was bringing. This moment is essential, not just for its impact on the plot, but also for Yuji Itadori's character growth and development. This was the moment everyone knew that Jujutsu Kaisen wasn't kidding around and Gege was following Hajime Isayama's footsteps. Yuji proceeded to give Mahito the beating of a lifetime and even though he managed to escape, it was then and there that he realized there was someone who could end his life. Coming up is probably one of the most iconic rage scenes in all of anime. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Roy Mustang takes on Envy. This moment is always on lists like this, and rightfully so. Overcome by a deep, seething rage, Roy was relentless with his attacks and brought down divine punishment on Envy. Each time Roy snapped his fingers, he burnt Envy repeatedly until he was nothing but ash and burnt flesh. Each attack was filled with his anger and thirst for revenge, which was why it was so satisfying to watch. Roy's wrath emotionally connects with the audience. Viewers have grown to love Roy as a character who represents loyalty, justice and devotion to his teammates. Seeing him focus his rage on a ferocious battle against Envy was a once in a lifetime moment for us to see his character grow. His usual calm and strategic approach is replaced by a madman willing to do anything to avenge his fallen friend. The animation, voice acting and impact was undoubtedly top notch. <laughs> Blitzing in at number 8 is Attack on Titan. Levi defeats the Beast Titan. After Erwin's godlike speech that made each one of us feel like we were a part of the scouts, Levi, who went into demon mode after seeing every one of his comrades die at the hand of the Beast Titan, proceeds to give us one of the best one-sided fights in the series. He wasted no time and as humanity's strongest soldier, he rushed the Beast Titan and brought it down in an instant. Levi even did one of the coldest poses when he brought Zeke out and proceeded to shove a sword inside his mouth. The moment was intense. The way which studio animated Levi's attacks was insane, especially when he sliced through the Beast Titan's arm. Levi definitely had a few rage scenes, but this one was by far the best in terms of emotional impact and the anticlimactic ending it had. He proved that even if you're taller than a house, when you've got a short angry guy after you, there is no escape. <laughs> the 
The next entry might be unexpected for some individuals because we have Gintama, Gintoki versus Jirocho. We all know that Gintama is a wacky anime, but for some who only see this series as a joke, it can be equally dramatic, intense and relatable if it needs to be. Gintoki and Jirocho's conflict stems from their own histories and objectives. Gintoki threw out his funny and laid-back personality and replaced it with pure bloodlust after he saw Otose lifeless. Jirocho was responsible for all of this and he really regretted it. Even though Gintoki had a wooden sword, he was able to overpower Jirocho even when it was broken. The studio went all out making it clear to us just how powerful each of Gintoki's strikes were. It wasn't just anger, Gintoki was feeling guilt and sadness as well, which drove him to become insane. This moment proved that Gintama wasn't all just fun and games. It could be serious as well, giving us another rage moment to remember. If you asked your dad, he'd probably say this entry was one of the most memorable moments in Dragon Ball. Goku rages after the Freezer kills Krillin in front of him. This occurs during the Dragon Ball Z series climactic fight on the planet Namek. Bruised and battered from a long fight, Goku stood in shock as to what just happened. He just witnessed the death of his best friend Krillin at the hands of his enemy Frieza. Seeing his friend blow up in midair made something deep inside Goku snap. The animation might be old, but it's no doubt worthy of being top 6. After reaching his iconic form, Goku proceeds to fight Frieza pushing himself to the limit. The way Goku just started screaming out of anger and grief became a staple of the series, especially when he's transforming into new forms, and the moment Krillin just exploded into oblivion was just shocking to see. With an entry from the so-called Big Three of anime, we have Bleach, where Ichigo unleashes his inner hollow. Old Kiora, being one of the strongest Espada in Aizen's army, proves to be an opponent Ichigo couldn't beat using his own strength. As hope seems to have disappeared, Orihime makes a desperate cry for Ichigo, begging him to help her. And by doing so, Ichigo's lifeless body transforms into something sinister. A holification unlike any other. Ichigo looks so ruthless that it made Old Kiora look like the hero. From Ichigo breaking the ground behind him without even caring for Orihime, the one he was going to save, to him stepping on Old Kiora's head, it was a battle of epic proportions. This hollow form was the acclamation of Ichigo's pent up anger and it did its job, showing us what would happen if you got on his bad side. The moment was amazing due to its meticulous build up, stunning visuals, emotional resonance and the embodiment of Ichigo's character development and ideals. It's a pivotal moment that showcases his growth as a hero with an innate demon and leaves a lasting impact on fans of the series. <laughs> Moving in at number 4, we have the moment when Naruto succumbed to his pure hatred against pain. With his teacher's death, the destruction of his village, and Hinata's unconscious body lying motionless in front of him, Naruto's sanity was driven to the edge. In this moment of weakness, the Nine Tails took over Naruto's body using his rage. Although the fight did have some weird and inconsistent animation, the way Naruto negated and overpowered every attack pain threw at him was just badass to watch. The entire fight reshaped the landscape into a desolate and barren wasteland. The build up towards Naruto's transformation, the animation and writing, along with him finally succumbing to his emotions was flawless. At first, we all thought Naruto was going to pack up pain with Sage Mode, but it was even better seeing him go all out. Naruto was running at pain like a madman, hitting him with rubble until only his head was the only thing out of the ground. Better yet, he even got a second transformation, looking scarier than before as bones started coming out from his body. We got to see how ferocious the QB really is, and it didn't disappoint. <laughs> When talking about rage moments, this one always has to be on the list. Mob Psycho mobs 100% rage against Goyama. After witnessing his brother getting beaten up by Goyama, Mob immediately steps in to save Ritsu. 
During his first attempt, Goyama caught him off guard and he was able to overwhelm Mob using his telekinetic helix. Mob's rage reached a level he was so desperately avoiding. Mob's emotions had hit 100%. Goyama stood no chance at all and was being thrown left and right. Goyama was at a disadvantage to the point where Mob just grabbed his face and they just broke the sound barrier. The choreography of the animation was one of its biggest highlights, making it more satisfying to see Mob teach Goyama a lesson. The animation wasn't a downer either because when when it comes to rage moments, you could always count on Mob Psycho to do the job. The vibrant colors, the dynamic animation, and creative visual effects create an intense and captivating spectacle that draws viewers in. Mob's rage demonstrates that even the most reserved and gentle individuals have the potential for incredible strength when their emotions are pushed to the limit. Coming in hot at number two, we have another underrated rage moment, Hyakimaru after Mio's death. What would you do if the only person who ever showed you kindness was killed right in front of you? Well, as Hyakimaru stood there listening to Mio's faint voice as she sang in her final moments, something inside the young man snapped. As Hyakimaru screamed in agony from the rage he felt, no one could have predicted what was about to happen next. Instead of crying his eyes out, Hyakimaru instead went on a killing spree, stabbing and slicing his opponents as he was unstoppable. There weren't any special abilities, no power-ups, no holding back. Hyakimaru was just going all out, making the ground turn red with his opponent's blood. This scene is brutal as the audience witnesses Hyakimaru's rage and sorrow, which is both satisfying and heart-trending. It's a moment that encapsulates the complexities of human emotions, elevating it beyond a mere battle scene. And at number one, the most watched and most legendary rage moment in all of anime, we have Hunter Hunter. Gone versus Nefapito. What am I? As we journey together with Gone Freaks, we think of him as a carefree, happy go lucky kid that only has two dreams to find his missing father and to become a world renowned hunter. So in the Chimera Antark, after Gon confronts Nefapito, the one responsible for his friend Kite's death, we see Gon for the first time ever exploding with rage, sacrificing everything he has just to enact his revenge instead of the normal sudden power-up Gon offered his entire future and his potential as a human to gain an insane amount of power. This is when you know Gon was willing to risk it all because he forced his body to grow to the age where he was able to defeat Nefapito. There were no other emotions here, it was just pure rage. His punches were so heavy that they sent Nefapito flying. The visual effects were out of this world and the emotions were just too real to take him. And there you have it, the top 20 rage moments in anime. Although I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of other moments like this one, so be sure to let us know your favorite in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See ya.